After two action-packed days in Bulgaria, we spend the evening in Plovdiv, reading and relaxing before heading off on the move again. Tonight, we are grabbing a bus to Istanbul, Turkey, the city we love and the country we truly miss. So the bus should only take actually six hours, which should get us into Istanbul at 6 a.m. local time. Then we've got a train booked straight from Istanbul to Ankara at 11 a.m. And all being well, we should be in Ankara about five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Do you know if this uh, bus company is Turkish? I think so. In fact, I think they're all Turkish. You've got Junta here behind. Turkish. Ad Arda Tor, that's Turkish. They're the best ones. You know why? Because they you get snacks. snacks with them. <laughs> You've said that, and I guarantee now we're not going to get snacks. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they're like, it's a night bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The bus that we're catching is actually starting in Safiya and then it goes to Plovdiv and then heads into Istanbul. So hopefully there shouldn't be any delays. Is it just starting in the same country? We're just pretty hopeful that we won't have a repeat of Zagreb. <laughs> <laughs> not now, not as early. <coughs> Literally I mean, just if happened. Six hours delayed, that means we're sitting here all night <laughs> till 6 a.m. We might so, as well start walking. Exactly. <laughs> about private jet ones. So it's one of the jobs I had. I used to work as um party I forgot <laughs> Aviation broker, that's the one. And I worked for a big company but the team that I was working in it was like a VIP team. So we were looking after um, some musical bands and singers and like businessmen and people like that. And uh, obviously there are some funny stories flying around. I remember one, one of the guys were telling me, he was telling me that uh, once plane took off and uh, obviously it wasn't locked up properly and all the luggage fell out. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually incredibly dangerous with like the pressurization I'd imagine of the plane as well. Maybe. Or would it be even if it's like a different compartment if it's completely I don't to be honest, I'm not hundred percent, but I guess it depends on how high they got. I'm guessing they matches I, maybe. I would imagine not very high. Yeah. But can you imagine you're paying as well the prices of a private jet? <laughs> Welcome to Istanbul. The bus arrived dead on six and we just hopped in the metro and got here to the train station. And actually, 
I just realized myself we've just passed a massive milestone for this journey because we just crossed into Asia <laughs> our train supposed to leave at 11 but we just checked if we could change our tickets and get an earlier train and we think we can but we're not sure so <laughs> but the man told us to come back and speak to him in half an hour so we're gonna do that if we can't it's like a four hour wait so we're hoping we can Iki Turkavesi Turkavesi Iki yes Evan yeah just went to check if we can get earlier tickets and I'm just sitting here watching bags hopefully we'll be able to but if not it's only three hours to wait now which is not too bad to be fair so we managed to change it from 11.15 to 9.10 wow. which is 50 minutes time so perfect that's awesome yeah well happy do we have uh, <laughs> sitting tickets <laughs> we do we do he said to me economy class or business class i said economy because i'd already booked economy but i'm wondering yeah. if i said business if we'd have just got a business class <laughs> should have chanced it but i was thinking he was going to say business class it's another thousand lira <laughs> do you have to pay anything extra? no 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 that's awesome so we we there's an app you can buy tickets online for Turkish Rail and we paid 195 lira per person so very very good I think to get all the way to Ankara Oi. Welcome to Ankara. I'm actually over the moon to be honest, we made it here so quick. That was 14 hours from the moment we left Plovdiv and it cost us the grand total of 25 pounds per person for everything. Which, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. So chuffed we got out of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a definite price difference as soon as you leave Europe, isn't there? So, first order of business is to get to the metro station, which is about a 10 minute walk away, and then get to the hotel. Wow. 
Nice. Really I would nice. say super duper. Super duper? Yeah. Wow. That good. <laughs> so, the time is 4.45. We've had a quick shower and a freshen up, and we're heading straight back out into the city to have a look around. We may not be here for a long time, but we're determined to see as much of Ankara as we can. And sorry about my voice in advance. I don't know what's happened. Something to do with the air conditioning on the buses and trains that we've been on, but I've lost it. <laughs> Honestly, the sights and sounds of this place are absolutely incredible. I cannot begin to tell you how excited we both are to be back in Turkey, even if it's just for a short period of time. Ankara is the capital of Turkey and one of its cultural hearts. It's located in the central Anatolia region of this vast country. And with a population of over five and a half million people, it is Turkey's second largest city after Istanbul. Despite only becoming the capital in 1923, Ankara has long been a symbol of an independent and modern Turkey. Its location, smack bang in the center of the country, has allowed it to become a trading hub and even now the city is packed full of traders, feeding the busy streets selling everything from seamed bread to t-shirts. Although often trumped by its bigger brother Istanbul, Ankara is packed with both history and culture. It doesn't feel over touristy at all. And here in Ankara you get a real glimpse of working life in an industrial Turkish city. We are on our way to Ataturk's mausoleum. So, <laughs> have to come back to Ankara. I should have read online. <laughs> it was a nice walk anyway. It was. Well, that was a bit of a shame to see the list, but we're not going to let us stop us. Let's shoot across to another part of the town. Turns out that Matt's voice was the start of a nasty cold that knocked him out for the next few days. So despite our best intentions, we couldn't explore much more of Ankara. So we're gonna love you and leave you here and see you in the next video where we move deeper into Turkey.